Um, next thing that we got is the actual starters for um, for Hasbro, which now it's time to bring up the entry launchers. So these little launchers, in all fairness, are Takira Tomi launchers. They were just released with Drawn Sword in like the middle of like post Suganic early, uh, whatever the other team was, I forgot already, Yggdrasil. And they dropped this set, and everyone, yep, and Elliot's got the uh, the Takara one that came in it. It's way smaller, way simpler. Uh, the inside of the actual X launchers for Takara have like multiple gears and they ratio it to make it more powerful, whereas. The uh, <laughs> the entry starter launcher is just very one gear one thing. It doesn't have much power. The ripcord is also shorter. Um, yep. And uh, yeah, you can see it's very different. It doesn't have the finger loop, and instead has the uh, the center grip. And it's it, I was honestly kind of expecting this to be what they did for Hasbro. Mm -hmm. It's not much of a surprise that they just went down this route and. Kind of like when the entry launcher was revealed and came out, it was like, this is probably what Hasbro will use when they port mm -hmm. it. So at it, the end of the day, was, this wasn't too much of a surprise. It was really weird, the release for Takara Tomi with this launcher, because at that point, we didn't have any pricing um, real estate to compare it to. And it was like, okay, so I bought my starter set for $25, and then I bought my light launcher starter set for $22. And it was like, yeah, either way, I didn't, I didn't want to spend $20 for either of those, let alone um, yeah. save that. But I'm, I'm excited if I get the Beyblade with a light launcher for $8, save 56% off of my normal Takara Tomy purchase. I'll be over the moon because then I can spend that other $8 and get the launcher that could have been included for $18. And it's just, just ugh, um, everything. I will say, I will say, so the price of the, because it was BX, oh, I had it for a second. Um, it was BX22, which was it the was, Dran yep. Sword entry, which... I have, but I don't know where it is. So it was this, but instead of the good launcher, it came with the light ones. What would be better to, to like collectors or people who are going to buy six, seven, eight starters over the several months, several month period, right? Would you rather spend, you know, nine ninety nine? you get the little crappy launchers, but you also get the Phoenix source set, which is a string launcher. You don't need to use any ripcord launchers or you pay the eight bucks for this, the ripcord, the nice winder. And then you don't have to buy another one. And so instead of spending $13 on per Beyblade, you're spending 10 bucks. Not a big difference, but whenever you're buying, let's say, 10 starters, which seems like a lot, but over the span of a year, it's 10 starters. That's 30 bucks in savings, right? Mm -hmm. So, yeah, getting a better launcher would have been better, but I think spending, keeping that price under the four digits. Because that has, sure. has like a mental aspect too, where you see three numbers versus four. That's why it's nine ninety nine instead of ten. Mm -hmm. Very soon. There's, there's a definitely. I do enjoy that concept of the light launchers because I, you get like four of these, you're good. You're never gonna play Beyblade with four people. If you get a couple dual launchers, uh, links or whatever, four Beyblades as much as you'll need in a stadium. You got replacements, but they just take up so yeah. much space. Like, I don't have space for, for any more real launchers. I'm going to be honest. These are way better. These are way better. I know, like, some people just disagree with me. for a comparison, me. if anybody wants to mm -hmm. this make is a little it. thumbnail. <laughs> <laughs> we got, yeah, like, the has or the Takara Tomy box is mid. Like, it's all right. It gets the point across, but... You feel like there's something missing there. And, like, we look at Hasbro, and it's like everything is there. It's like you look at that mm -hmm. box, and it feels like Beyblade. Because this is, like, the best comparison, right? Yeah, like, yeah. look how much empty... Sp I mean, they're different They're different dimensions. So that's something to remember. Like, the Takara Tomy one's taller. But it wouldn't have been impossible for them to fix that. And you can see just how big of a difference like there's so much more going on on the hasbro one in like mm -hmm. a good way yeah i'm not the biggest fan of where it says extreme battle set and there's like multiple languages I, 
I think having multiple languages is good, but it's kind of makes it a little more busy. I also, something I just kind of realized now, or whenever we first brought up, they got rid of the product codes. So there's no longer any BX01, BX02, which they've, mm. I think they didn't, I don't even think they had that for Burst though, or part of Burst, if I remember <gasps> right. Ne on the blue strip, next to the name there's all that empty space and they mm -hmm. could have just done the oversized bx don't even just use like per, per, pretend the takara tomi codes don't exist and just do your own bx like maybe that HX adds a little bit something maybe XB. that ad that adds a little bit of confusion <laughs> yeah, maybe but <laughs> yeah extreme beyblade i put the starters on the same level i think the hasbro one is like more eye-popping but I think the Takara Tomi one makes better use of the, the real estate. Yeah. Um, but there is one thing that the Takara Tomi boxes don't have that the Hasbro boxes do. Boom! And it's perforated. You let it yeah. rip. You rip it open. That's so clean. I mean, I can't get any of these Takara boxes open. There's freaking tape. There's like three layers of tape, and it doesn't fit back in the box. Oh, my gosh. It's so annoying. I would love to destroy my shelf piece and just throw it away after I'm done. I'd love to let it rip. Yeah. Those, those tabs are so satisfying on like packages and envelopes. I love them. Although I will say the let it rip doesn't, the perforation doesn't go all the way to the edge of the box. So if you tear it, it's cool. But then what do you do? Do you have to keep you, like tearing yeah. it open? And you just rip it and it's like, okay, For back of box bro? is clean. It's Pretty good. good. It's way better. I mean, I it sucks you don't see Jackson. You don't see Jackson. Mm -hmm. That is a bit of an L. But right. we have uh, Scythe Incendio, which I, I like the name Incendio. I, I I think it's fine. It's a little bit, you know. It's weird. It's a, it's a little odd. Scythe Incendio. It kind of like, it's, yeah, it's very long. Um, they didn't <laughs> censor the, not even just the fact it's a skull, but they kept the devil horns on it too. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. which is and it's not just like it doesn't have little horns like this it has full on like the curved like cartoonish devil horns mm -hmm. so they didn't censor that um, so there's that bay we got the back of the box um, has all the stats 460 mm -hmm. T nothing's yeah. really changed it's just Takara Tomy basically mm -hmm. I find yeah, it I interesting say... they call it Pinion that kind of makes Pinyon. sense because it is it is in at first it, it, yeah, they included a pigeon in it. <laughs> Taper pigeon, sick. <laughs> I think but. for Hasbro, instead of the extreme line, it's called like the accelerator line or the accelerator <laughs> rail or something like that, oh, which is kind of cool. Then we see uh, Arrow Wizard, which I mean, it's just it's it's. I wish I could have any sort of take on this. It's just the box we've already talking at length about and. It's it's Wizard Arrow. Like, it's the same. I will say, in this picture, maybe it's just me, um, it looks really vibrant. Like, if you look at the actual bay itself, yeah, it looks like glowing. the top of his, the top of its, like, cloak or whatever it's called on the actual motif looks almost orange. Mm -hmm. um, but maybe it's just boost. the picture. Yeah. Yeah, it's very, very interesting looking. Now, with it... With with it being swapped over now it's Arrow Wizard. Does that mean we have to change the cult to Shadow Arrow Money Gang? Because that doesn't sound as True. fun. True. Shadow Wizard Money Gang. <laughs> yeah. And then Helm Knight. I think that's that was the other like big name change that they dropped. I kind of like, like Helm. it. I, I like it. Why yeah. not well, Shield though? Not, I mean like you never you never hear the word Helm. I thought Helm was like a boat term, like steer the helm. But yeah, the like, that yeah it is. Okay, yeah, yeah so it's I, kind I of don't both. know where that came from. I mean, like, we saw Dark Helm be a thing in Fusion when they didn't want to do Fusion Hades because they had already named a Fusion Wheel Hades, so they weren't going to give you Hades Hades, although that would have been fun. But, <laughs> yeah, like, Helm... I forget who it was, but someone said, like, maybe the reason it's Helm is because they only show the helmet in the motif mm. as opposed to, like, others, but then the that helmet. also begs the question like well what are they going to make for night lance because they don't show the they don't show the lance in that so <laughs> just lance by lance. that logic what is it it's yeah i don't i don't know how to feel about helm i kind of wish it was just shield knight because that would just make more sense rather than helm it's i don't know it's kind of a matter of opinion I, I yeah i i like i think helm is or helm is more like unique of a word than shield too 
Mm-hmm. So, like, maybe it doesn't make as much sense, especially when you look at, like, Night Lance, because, I mean, it's just it's just literally just a helmet anyway. Um, but... I, yeah, I like I like it. I I think I'm I'm fine with that name. I'm I'm fine with pretty much all the Hasbro names for once. Mm-hmm. I'd rather them do Helm Knight or Scythe Incendio than do Spryzen. Uh, yeah. Lu, 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 okay, Luinor is actually kind of cool. Although, what mm, does that even mean? Sick. I don't know. Um, Longinus was cooler to me. Well, yeah, Long- of course, but Longinus. Longinus, uh, Valtriac. I hate that so much. But it's Valtric, but he goes but in the anime, doesn't he go like Valtric? It's like so extreme. It's so like it's like he like says it so Yeah. He says every syllable of that. You know. If they call (laughs) Well, I mean to be fair, like we have drawn dagger already, so like I mean or Dirty Dan. So like (laughs) Dirty Dan. (laughs) I mean maybe Dirty Swan and Dirty Dan, like we're not gonna be seeing anything too ridiculous in terms of like coding and syllables outside of maybe the bits because i mean these do feel like very complete boxes doesn't seem like they're gonna like change much 